what you'll find compared to most baseball facilities, especially the retractable roof one, I think is a lot more glazing, a lot more glass that gives the opportunity for light to come in. And the ETFE product, to my knowledge, hasn't been used in baseball yet. So we're, we're really excited to, to introduce that here. We tried to program things that were very millennial and things like that, which you hear a lot of people talk about, but you also don't want to stay stray too far from the core. People are coming to watch the event, to watch the baseball game, and you want to make sure you have a little bit of something for everybody. First and foremost, there's comfort for everyone with, with climate control, but there's also um, there's certainty of our product um, uh, commencing at the same time. We haven't had that many rainouts in the nine years I've been here, um, but what we've had is weather impacted games. So when the schedule's a 7.05, short of an act of God, you know, God forbid, we're playing baseball at that time. So that is that so that certainty is very important. And then the different spaces. So our lower bowl has about six thousand seats. Not all of those map to a club. However, we've built something beautiful that we're calling the district, which is essentially a great uh, diversification of food and beverage offerings, beautifully appointed. For lack of a better term, it's a very high-end concourse, but it's something that people have not seen in a baseball venue. The things that I get excited about are, are things like the fact that we have like seven legitimate row ones. Whether that means you're down at the field or in an upper level, there's nothing like handing out row one to your friends, your family, your clients. I think that's big. Whether that's baseball or another event, it doesn't matter. I think the fact that every seat in the house, if you compare it to our current building, is wider with the deeper tread. There's kind of like a hospitality theme there, right? Folks have come to expect that whether they're right against the field or they're up top. And then you go up to our main concourse, which hosts over 15,000 of our guests. We flipped the way we designed our concession stands so that they're no longer blocking the views into the park. So now you have a 360 degree aperture of the playing field, both on the main concourse and the upper concourse, so you're never disconnected from the action. What you find is a taller building that's pushed closer to the field. Uh, and so we think it creates a more intimate atmosphere. It makes you feel like you're more on top of the action, really close to it. Um, it also creates some unique uh, adjacencies. We've got the brand new Carbach sky porch. It's in left field, really more of a party area for people to mix and mingle. We call it the best rooftop bar in Dallas-Fort Worth. It also looks out into the Texas Live Plaza, which is our entertainment district. We've got our new beautiful hotel live by Lowe's. The first four-star hotel in the history of, of Arlington, really big deal. We announced at the end of 2019 that we're more than doubling down. We're adding another 888-room hotel with uh, a lot of convention space and things like that. So really excited about that. We love to build fans one at a time. If it's just getting them in an environment where they're, they're social, they're enjoying themselves, they're having a good time, they're being safe. We want them to think of the Rangers as a place to do that. Baseball might be tangential to them. We hope to build that fandom, obviously, but we got to get them out here first. And so in order to do that most effectively, we have to have a broad range of products, broad range of experiences, broad range of price points. We hope that what the, the takeaway is, is something that's never been imagined. We took a, a stadium, arena, and a ballpark, and it came together to create this really unique fan experience that's kind of been unprecedented.